Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Zan Demore, and I just came back from my trip from Hawaii and this is all that I took. And if you guys are traveling soon and you want to keep your setup light, keep watching. Okay, so like I said, I just came back from my trip from Hawaii. Me and my wife actually flew down there for an entire week and we went to the island of Oahu or Honolulu and also Kauai. And let me tell you guys, it was the best time we have ever had. So it was actually our first time in Hawaii and we got to see so many different things, so many different sceneries. It was just amazing and it was such a relaxing time for both of us. And honestly, we needed that to kind of get away from our uh, regular nine to five. And uh, it was a must need break for both of us. Uh, but I'm here to tell you on what I actually brought with me to Hawaii. And uh, the idea behind this setup up was to kind of keep things very light and very minimalistic and uh, hopefully if you guys are traveling soon uh, maybe I can give you some ideas uh, for your own trip and maybe you can kind of replicate the same setup that I have in this bag here uh, I chose this peak design bag and this is a great bag for every day-to-day -day stuff and uh, by no means I'm gonna be doing a full review on this bag but very quickly this backpack does have enough space for all your travel needs so it has this big main compartment and behind it it has the uh, I think you can fit up to a 13 inch laptop I believe uh, correct me if I'm wrong uh, let me know in the comment section down below and it does have this large front pocket where you can throw in all your extras uh, so that's very nice uh, but just kind of opening this bag up and showing you what I actually brought on this trip so starting with the tripod that I brought and this is the PGY Tech Mantis pod and this is a great travel tripod just because of the size and form factor. One cool feature that I really love about this tripod is this uh, hook. So this allows you to hook it to any ledge or uh, any railing or something like that and you can vlog like Casey Neistat style. So this is a very cool tri travel tripod and it's light enough to kind of put in this bag and bring along with you. Uh, and I did end up using this uh, for a few of my shots. This is a, a great travel tripod. So definitely check this PGY Tech tripod out. Uh, moving on to the main camera and lens. This is always a tough decision just because as you can see right behind me, I do own a lot of lenses and it's always hard to kind of pick the right one. I just wanted to make a conscious decision to keep things very simple and light. So I just chose this 24 to 70 G Master F 2.8 and this is the perfect lens for all your travel needs. Basically, it can give you 24 millimeters, which is wide enough for your vlogging, your wide angle shots, and it can zoom all the way up to 70, which can be great for any portrait or anything like that. And uh, this lens itself is actually plenty sharp. Um, I am waiting on the version two to come out. Hopefully, Sony, if you're listening, come out with the version two. I'm really excited about that. But uh, overall, this has been a great lens and I feel like uh, if you have this in your kit and you're planning a trip, I think uh, definitely bring this along with you because I think uh, it'll pretty much cover all, the, all of the focal lengths that you would need. Going along with the lens, I brought with me the Sony A1 and this was a no brainer for me. As you guys know, I do shoot my videos on the Sony FX3, but it kind of lacks in the stills department. And uh, I feel like the A1 kind of covers that hybrid uh, very well. It gives me uh, 50 megapixels images to kind of work with and then also shoot up to 8K. So that's more than enough to kind of uh, cover everything. Bring something that's in between so you can get a very wide angle and then also a very tight angle if you need it. So I think this was the perfect setup for me and it kind of covered all my needs uh, that I needed in Hawaii. This next thing I'm really excited to share with you guys because I was actually on the fence of buying it but I ended up pulling the trigger and this is the new DJI Mavic 3. I watched a ton of videos and uh, a lot of them kind of covered the GPS issue that the Mavic 3 had and I'm happy to report while I was in Hawaii I did not experience 
any GPS issue whatsoever. I was able to successfully get 12 to 16, maybe even 20 satellites within like 30 or 40 seconds. So if you are on the fence of purchasing the Mavic 3, I would say go for it. And if you do get stuck with the Mavic 3 that has GPS issues, just wait for DJI to kind of fix it with the software update, I do believe in DJI and I know that they will be able to kind of uh, fix that and honestly speaking this is the best drone ever uh, no questions or but about it the camera on this is amazing you can get 20 megapixel stills and it can shoot up to 5.1k uh, I believe 50 frames per second so just an amazing drone overall and if you are going to be buying the Mavic 3 I would highly recommend that you pair it with this uh, DJI RC Pro controller and this is just a, a beautiful controller it can get very bright in uh, sunlight it can go up to I think thousand nits and uh, obviously you know when you're flying with just a regular standard DJI controller you have to connect it via your phone so it's nice to have a dedicated controller with the screen to kind of fly your Mavic 3. So if you are thinking about purchasing a Mavic 3, don't be, just go ahead and buy it. And one cool thing I'm gonna show you a little later, I did bring a car charger with me to kind of pair this uh, with the Mavic 3. So just keep watching. So this was the drone of choice and uh, it really served me well while I was there. And um, moving on to the ND filter. So I have a bunch of ND filters. I brought the Polar Pro 2-5 to five stop uh, Peter McKinnon Mist Edition and uh, this is, was pretty much on my lens 24-7 and then I did also bring the 6-9 stop as well especially when you're trying to do long exposure photography uh, during bright daylight uh, this is very nice to have and another variable ND that I brought with me was for the Mavic 3 and this is also by Polar Pro but just check out this case is just a sleek looking case and it's so beautiful, honestly. This is actually two to five stop and then also uh, I believe five to nine stop. Uh, so just a very solid all around ND filters. And let me know if you guys are interested in checking out the quality that's coming out of these variable ND filters by Polar Pro on the Mavic 3. I can do a separate video on that. So just let me know. Uh, so just kind of wrapping up the main compartment. I also brought in some extra batteries for the Alpha 1 just for those longer days. I honestly never used it. Also brought the PGY Tech SD card holder. So obviously when you're going on a trip, you need extra memory. You're creating backups and uh, you'll need uh, extra SD cards and CF Express Type A cards. So I brought that with me as well. And uh, in the back pocket, I kept the iPad mini 6. And this is my baby right here. Covered all of my media consumption. This is the perfect form factor when you're trying to keep things very light. And uh, this iPad mini was just amazing on the airplane. And this came in very handy. I watched a lot of videos. If you're thinking about purchasing an iPad, definitely give this iPad mini a look. So that was my iPad of choice. And that pretty much wraps up the main compartment. And the only thing I have left is this front main pocket. And this is why I kind of kept all of my charging accessories. And these cables are great because they have built-in adapters where you can switch USB-C to USB type A or USB type B to USB-C or whatever configuration you pretty much want. You can kind of quickly switch uh, with this cable. And then I also brought a lightning to USB-C cable, obviously to charge my iPhone. And uh, I also brought this uh, fast charging 20 watt Nomad wall outlet charger to kind of charge all of my iPad and everything like that. Uh, this is a car charger by Woo2BUS. And this is a great car charger. It can charge up to 120 watts. So the Mavic 3 actually fast charges at 100 watts, I believe. Uh, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, this is a great charger to kind of pair with the Mavic 3, if you, especially when you're trying to travel light and you're maybe trying to bring one battery. Uh, definitely bring this car charger because you can kind of uh, charge in between uh, hikes. So this is a, a great pairing for the Mavic 3. And one last thing in the front pocket are my AirPods Pro. 
So these obviously I needed to listen to music or watch movies on the airplane and they came in very handy. So as you see, I have kind of kept things very simple and very light. Sometimes you get caught up in where you want to bring all of your gear and uh, I was very deliberate that on this trip I just didn't want to fiddle around changing lenses, changing bodies. I just wanted to keep very things very simple and minimalistic and I think I was able to achieve that and I felt like everything I brought with me had a purpose and it served it very well. So everything that I've talked about in this video is going to be linked in the description box below. So uh, definitely check those out and those are going to be affiliate links. So anything that you purchase after clicking those links will support this channel and I'm very grateful for all your support and love. That's pretty much going to wrap up the video here today. Hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, as always keep doing more, keep traveling and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.